it's time to find out how good the Back to the Future time machine really is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hot Wheels Unleashed car review. This time we're testing out the DeLorean, the Back to the Future time machine. As a boost bar, it comes in legendary form when you get it. Whoa, that boost looks so cool. Oh my god, that looks insane. <laughs> now we're testing it on extreme difficulty, of course. So let's see how well this car does. Now it's a boost bar, but honestly it holds a lot of boost. It doesn't feel like it runs out that quick either. So if you can build up a boost, you actually get a lot of speed. You can actually get quite a bit of distance with it. Oh, that was bad. We needed that purple. But that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll make the most out of it without it. There we go. That was nice. All right, we're going to use it all the way to the sprint. We gain some ground. We've got the power rocket here. Oh, it makes the, the noise that it makes. That's quite cool. Uh, I, I like that addition. This car already seems, yeah, this is a nice car to use, I'm not even gonna lie. A lot of the cars that are collaborations are quite good. The Deathstroke, the two, and the two beginners, I guess, of the, of the racing season, I'd say aren't. Maybe, maybe it was just what, maybe it was just Deathstroke and the next one, but I'm not, I don't really remember. But like the Gucci, this one, Superman, Wonder Woman, Tina Ninja, they're all really good to be honest. This one especially is quite good doesn't feel too heavy doesn't feel too light the boost is nice even though it's a boost bar I like it I actually have to say I don't mind this one with a boost bar that is it actually holds its own pretty nicely we've got such a distance between us and timer taxi the boost doesn't waste too much and when you use it you can actually whoa get quite far it's quite good I have to admit now, if this review hasn't been as good as my previous ones, I'm just not feeling too well, so I'm sorry if I've missed out on some and haven't spoken about the car enough, but overall, the car is very good. Good speed, good handling, good traction. Drifts you can hold of it are nice. Not too heavy, not too light. It's, just, it's actually a very well-balanced car. So there we have it. It has three speed, five braking power, four acceleration, four handling, and a boost bar. And like I said, it's a very well-balanced car. I like it. It's good all round. So hopefully you enjoyed this car review. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.